Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a logarithmic and exponential expression. We made an easier version of this problem before. Uh, I'll share the link down below and you can also see the video here. And we're doing a harder version today. So we have 10 to the power log x to the power log 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 x divided by log log x. And we're going to simplify this as much as possible. I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the second one. So for my second method, I'm going to go ahead and set log x equal to t. And then from here, I get the following. First of all, let's go ahead and focus on the exponent here. Log, log, log x divided by log, log x. Since log x is equal to t, this can be written as log, log t, this is t by the way, divided by log t. Great, so that's our exponent, one of the exponents. So our expression turns into the following. Since we call this t, it's going to be 10 to the power t to the power log, log t divided by log t. Okay, it looks a little better than the original one, right? Less logs. So, we're going to simplify this expression right here in terms of t, and then we're going to go back uh, to x. First of all, uh, let's focus on this, the exponent here again. And uh, how do you simplify that exponent? First of all, notice that we have log t in the denominator. So, that should kind of remind you that's something that we've done before. What is t to the power 1 over log t. There are actually different ways to look at it. One way to look at it is you can basically write this as t to the power log 10 over log t and then write it as t to the power log 10 with base t and since these two are the same this just becomes 10. Make sense? Hopefully it does. Of course t should be positive in this case, right? Well, then another way to look at it is what is t to the power of 1 over log t? You, if you don't know what something is, you can set it to another variable like y and then log both sides. Log t to the power 1 over log t equals log y. And then now this is going to be moved to the front, giving us something super duper nice. 1 over log t multiplied by log t equals log y. And this is 1, so log y equals 1. That indicates that y equals 10. So our expression is equal to 10. What is that expression? It is this expression right here, the exponent without the numerator. So that makes sense. So here's what we're going to do. We have t to the power. Let's go ahead and uh, we can actually write it with the t, but let's go ahead and focus on this first. t to the power log log t divided by log t can be written as t to the power 1 over log t to the power log log t. Now remember, the base here is t to the power of 1 over log t, and that is equal to 10, right? So I'm going to replace it with 10, and this becomes 10 to the power log log t. Now we have something like 10 to the power log z, and you know, or you should know if you know logs, this should equal z, because this and this, they cancel each other out. So here, we have this expression inside the log, so this should equal log t. Make sense? And remember, this was our exponent, and the base is 10, and we got log x or log t from there. So that turned into log t. This became log t. So now we have 10 to the power log t, which can be written as t, of course, again, by the same rule, but t is just equal to log x. So our expression, when simplified, is going to equal log x. Make sense? Okay, great. So that's what we basically did, replacing log x with t, and by making a lot of substitutions and using properties. But one of the most important properties that we used here is the following. If you have a to the power log b with base a, this is always equal to b. Of course, b needs to be positive, a needs to be uh, greater than 0 and different from 1. As long as those conditions are satisfied, this property works. All right, so that is the end of the second method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first method. Okay. So 
So for my first method, I'm going to do the following. Let me rewrite the original problem. We have 10 to the power log x to the power log 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 x divided by log log x. Okay, that's our gigantic, monstrous, scary expression. So we're going to simplify this. Okay, you already know the answer. Here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to focus on the exponent like before. So let's go ahead and focus on this first. So what is that? It's log 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 x divided by log log x. Okay? All right. So how do you simplify this, right? Let's go ahead and make a different substitution this time. How about setting this equal to a? Okay. Log log x uh, log log x equals a. So now this our expression becomes even much simpler such as log a over a. Awesome. So now we said, okay, log log x equals a. But remember, this is base 10. So from here, we get the following. Log x equals 10 to the power a. Remember the definition of logs. Okay. So log x can be written as 10 to the power a. We now have the following. Our original expression was 10 to the power log x to the power log 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 x divided by log log x okay now we're going to replace log x with 10 to the power a 10 is going to stay the same so it's going to look like this 10 to the power 10 to the power a and that number to the power the exponent what is the exponent we were able to simplify it down to log a over a so this becomes log a over a this part let me show you what that is this part becomes log a over a. Remember, we've done that first, right? Okay. So that's what we have so far. Pretty simple, right? I mean, much better than the original one. Now, notice that we don't multiply these. It's a to the power b to the power c does not equal a to the power b to the power c. It is actually a to the power b to the power c, right? So here's what we can do with that. We can go ahead and write this as 10 to the power 10 to the power a times log a over a, right? So we can kind of write it like this. And the a cancels out. And from here, we get 10 to the power 10 to the power log a. But remember, log a means base 10. So 10 to the power that is equal to a. So this becomes 10 to the power a. And what is 10 to the power a? From here, it is equal to log x. Therefore, our expression will be simplified as log x. Let me go ahead and show you a graph here real quick and then we'll finish up. So I graphed y equals 10 to the power log x to the power log 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 x divided by log log x for you and also the horizontal line, I mean not the horizontal line, the graph of y equals log x. So how do you distinguish between those? They are the same except the purple one starts at 10 because in order for our expression to be well defined, this needs to be uh, positive. Actually, I put too many logs, which means log x needs to be greater than 1, which means x needs to be greater than 10. Make sense? That's why it starts at 10. The dotted line represents y equals log x, but as you can see, they coincide. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.